atomic spectra of gases. We know that all objects emit thermal radiation with a continuous distribution of wavelengths. So that is uh, the power radiated is given by Stefan's law, sigma a e t, t to the fourth power. So it varies as temperature to the fourth power. However, when a low pressure gas undergoes an electrical discharge, it emits an element dependent discrete line spectrum. So you can see that the emission spectra for hydrogen, mercury, and neon completely look different. So you can see we have emission in the visible spectrum and these discrete lines basically uh, provide a signature for the type of atom we are looking at, whether it's hydrogen or mercury or neon, by looking at its signature emission spectrum, we can tell. Now, the emission spectrum in emission spectroscopy or the absorption spectrum in absorption spectroscopy can be used to identify elements. For example, there is helium in solar atmosphere because we know it's a emission spectrum. So uh, emission or absorption doesn't matter. So if we provide these wavelengths, basically we will see that in the absorption spectrum that these wavelengths will be missing. So that power will be absorbed by these atoms. Okay. So for the hydrogen spectrum, the wavelengths are given empirically by uh, these uh, equations. 1 over the wavelength is Rydberg's constant times 1 minus 1 over n square, where n is uh, the uh, energy level uh, uh, quantum number corresponding to the uh, energy level where the uh, emission or, or absorption started. So for n is equal to 2, 3 and 4, uh, these are going to correspond to Lehman series. For n equals 3, 4, 5, uh, so we go from n equals 2 to n equals 1 here. If we go from n equals 3 to n equals 2 or 4 to 2 or 5 to 2, we have Balmer series. n equals 4, 5, 6 to 3, we have Passion series. n equals 5, 6, 7 to 4, we have Bracket series. So depending on where the uh, excitation occurs in between which energy levels, if the final energy level is 1, it's Lehman. If it's 2, it's Balmer. If it's 3, it's Passion. If it's 4, it's Bracket series. And this constant that appears on these equations, Rydberg's constant, is found to be 1.0973732 times 10 to 7 per meter. It's called Rydberg's constant. So if we draw these energy levels, we can see that n equals excitations uh, above n equals 1 uh, that result in uh, emission of the spectra by transitions of electrons from higher energy levels to n equals 1 give us the Lehman series. And uh, for those transitions from higher energy levels to n, n equals 2, the energy level is uh, Balmer series and that gives us the visible spectrum. Uh, that gives us uh, basically discrete line spectra in the visible range. Uh, and we have uh, transitions from higher energy levels to n equals 3 passion series and to n equals 4 bracket series. So that basically uh, summarizes uh, everything going on here. So in summary, we talked about discrete line spectra for the emission or absorption spectrum of atoms that allows us to identify the atoms because they have a signature. <clears throat> and for the case of hydrogen, we have Lehman, Balmer, Passion and Bracket series for transitions to n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3 and n equals 4. And uh, all of these are given by empirically by this equation 1 over the wavelength of the emitted light is Rydberg's constant times uh, 1 over n final square minus 1 over n initial square. So n final is 1 here, 2 here, 3 here, and 4 here. And this n is n initial, which is 2, 3, 4 for Lehman, 3, 4, 5 for Balmer, 4, 5, 6, etc. for Passion, 5, 6, 7, etc. for bracket series. And this can be seen easily in this energy level diagram. Uh, you can see transitions from, for example, n equals 2 to n equals 1, n equals 3 to 1, 4 to 1, 5 to 1 would correspond to Lehman series. And what is important here is that the line spectra that we see in the visible range come from 
Balmer series.